Uh, well, central sensitization is, as I said, a, a state where the brain has started to take the pain from nociceptors from somewhere in the patient's body, has taken that information and redirected it into parts of the brain that the brain itself finds hard to inhibit. So now we're going to be having a whole range of other problems that are occurring with these patients. So ranging from sensitivity to light, sensitivity to the way people are talking, sensitivity to the movement of people around them, sensitivity to eating, to breathing. So their lives are changed dramatically, way, way past the pain they experienced into many other areas of their life and their physiology. Um, so that's the biggest problem with sense, that's, well, that's the definition, but then the issue is how do you actually treat these patients? How do you get inside their nervous systems and make those changes? How do you encourage them to change their behaviours, their beliefs, uh, move forward? That's probably the biggest issue we have with central sensitisation. Conditions that are associated with central sensitisation are, are now long. The research now over the last 10 years has suggested that uh, conditions just not like chronic non-specific low back pain or chronic tension type headaches or even TMD, the conditions that chiropractors regularly see as musculoskeletal conditions, but fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome, chronic unresolved migraines, uh, irritable bowel syndrome, things like frozen shoulder, interstitial cystitis, and there's a range more from the chronic arthritis that don't seem to change. So it looks like now we can expand the list of conditions that I think chiropractors are seeing or patients are, are mentioning to chiropractors that are included on the central sensitization list. And they're, they're in a way combined to be called central sensitivity syndrome. So we see a lot of central sensitivity syndromes that all have the background of, of central sensitization. So I'd like to sort of share that and we'll go through how we deal with those, uh, those patients in conditions.